I just broke up with my girlfriend, Patty, literally, because she just moved in with another guy. And, uh, yeah, I said, that's where I draw the line, you know. And, uh, you know, I dumped her. And, uh, sort of, I don't want to go out with two people. That's a big tab when you figure it out. But I'm in complete control. It's just been a short time. Have you guys ever had that feeling? You know, you're in complete control. Just when I thought I was never going to hear from her, I called her and uh, <laughs> begged her to come back. So now you got to go into bars and meet. And women should approach guys because uh, we're easy. Isn't this true, guys? <laughs> this is the worst game. I went into a bar once and I said to this girl, you want to go out? She said, no, I don't really find you attractive or interesting. I said, come on, quit playing games. What's the real... <laughs> I have heard every excuse for a woman not going to bed with me that exists. I swear to God, this one girl literally once said, look, not with this Falcon Island thing. <laughs> well, I can understand that, Mrs. Thatcher. Um, oh. I know nothing. I'm not good sexually. I just read this article that it's erotic to rub oil on the other person. Is this true? I don't know. I have a couple cans of Mobile One on my nightstand. 30 and 40 weight, because I don't know what time of the year it's going to happen. So, I'm walking out of a club, right? And uh, this girl approached me with her name and phone number on a piece of paper. Her name was Debbie, and she had an 800 number. <laughs> Toll free, right? So, so we go out, and I'm very nervous on a first date. Some girl just told me I look like a cross between David Brenner and Jimmy Carter. Is that true? Yeah, those are ugly people. So, I saw two ugly people kissing today. Ooh, if you... You know who you are. Don't, uh... I won't let my dog look at that. Ernie, don't look. It's ugly people kissing. What's going on there when ugly people are kissing? Are they looking at each other going, All right. Ooh, it's sickening. All right, so... So we go out, right? And we're in a dark restaurant, you know, and I'm trying to do everything right. You're wondering, does she like me? Do I like her? What's this going to cost? And, uh... And she had a beauty mark on her cheek, and I swatted it. Oh, the... <laughs> What? There was hair coming out of it, you know, it looked like legs. And I said, there's something on your face, you know. And she started to bob and weave. I had to fake her with a right before I got her with a left. Good shot. <laughs> I got her. It's a hell of a shot. And, and I'm calling her John Boy. And, uh... Well, because you're nervous on a first date. No one acts themselves. A woman doesn't eat a lot on a first date because she doesn't want the guy to think she's a pig. Isn't this true? By the fifth date, she's got the dessert card hooked to the back of the car. Am I right? She's got jeans that say U-Haul right across here. You're going, what do you pull that with? So, <laughs> but I'm cool. Wait, I'm ordering in French, right? And we're in a Chinese restaurant. And the waiter's going, why do you talk like that? Well, don't make me look stupid. And he, <laughs> and he looks at her and goes, that's something on your face. And I'm like, no. It's a permit, and he let her have it. He went, whoa! And she was down. She was out cold. Thank God I brought some smelling salts because I thought there might be sex later. <laughs> so, I said to the guy, I said, Wing Lu, get out of here. I don't know. All Chinese names sound the same to me. Wing Lu, Ching Lu. I was in Chinatown once. I yelled, hey, you. half the people turned around, you know? <laughs> And they said, who, me? And the other half turned around. So... So I said, get out of here. You're ruining everything. Then I opened up the fortune cookie. It said, I peed in your rice. You know? It was handwritten. They're not supposed to be handwritten, are they? No. I said, take this away and take the hot mustard sauce out of here, would you please? So... I get her out of there, because every guy who's going by the table is going, there's something on your face, ma'am, you know, and she's looking like Jerry Cooney by the time the almond cookies come. And I had just read this article that women like the little boy quality in a man, so I'm sitting there chewing up my food and going, ah. You know, I'm throwing it at the waiter and sitting on a booster chair. So, so I get her out of there. We go to Disneyland, all right? This is a great place, because you can look macho, because there's just little kids there. You push them around, tell them you got a job. So we go on this ride, it's a small world. Have you been on this ride, it's a small world? Anybody scared on this ride? Not a great ride. The worst thing about this ride is for the rest of your life, in your head, you hear that darn song, don't you? For the rest of your life, it's a small world. Na, 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 na. Give me a break. Then I went on Pirates of the Caribbean. Best ride? Yeah. I'm home cleaning my house. I'm going, yo-ho, yo-ho. I'm 
making love. I'm going, yo, ho, yo, ho, na. And the girl's going, it's a small world, na, 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 na. for you to laugh at that. So, I'm just not a macho guy. I have no hair on my chest, and I'm, I'm a wimp, and it ticks me off. All right, so if you're a macho guy, there's a guy, you got hair coming out of your shirt, sir, and this is a sickening thing. Do you have hair on your back? Ooh, trim it down. Really, do you? That's true. I always wanted to be one of those macho guys who can wear a turtleneck sweater, and there's still hair coming out of the... What do you call them? Uh, Italians. You know the... Are you... No, I love you guys. I'm envious of these guys. They need like two, three vasectomies. And, uh, they need like, uh, you know, excavation equipment on some of those, baby. I don't have that problem. I just bought these pants, right? They have no back pockets. Have you guys got these yet? So, you, you know, you, you have to just, you can't put your money there. You can't, <laughs> I don't know how this joke works. I bought, but let's see if we can get our way through it. I bought these pants. They have no back pockets. So you have to... <laughs> I'm going to get this joke. I haven't done this joke in about two years, and uh, that's what it feels like right now. Okay, now. So you have to put your change. No, no. Oh, oh I'm not going to forget it now, ma'am. I'm, you know, I'm sweating like a pig now until I get this baby out. I bought these pants. They have... Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, now how does this go? So you have to put your... So now I know what it is. So I bought these pants so you don't see the bulge from your wallet. Then I bought some pants with no front pockets so you don't see the bulge from your keys. Then I saw some pants where they're making for guys with no zipper. Isn't this true, guys? Which I'm not going to buy because this is where I keep my keys and wallet. <laughs> <laughs> then you go to the beach and you see these guys with hair on their chest and on their back, am I right? And you can't tell if they're coming at you or away from you. And it's gross. It's going on to the person next to them, am I right? And the lifeguard's going, get out of the water. There's hair in the water. Clear the water. It's like, help, you could drown in this stuff. I was in the hospital a year ago, and they shave you. Now, this is, you know what I'm talking about. All right, because, yeah, because, you know, they shave everything, which is very weird, because I was just visiting a friend of mine, and... <laughs> what the hell's going on here? They said, it's shave day. We're shaving everybody. <laughs> so I've left you. We got off the subject. I'm with Debbie at Disneyland, right? She wants to go on the merry-go-round. Have you guys ever tried to act macho sitting on a merry-go-round? Am I right? There's no way. And all the horses are taken. I'm sitting on a swan, right? This, this big pink swan. It says sissy right on the side of this one. Five-year-old kids are going, it's a sissy on the swan, mommy. And I'm going, I got a job. And I look bad, right? So we get her out of there. I'm driving her home in my new car, you know, because when I start to wonder if there's going to be any sex, you know, and if I'm going to be involved. <laughs> I hate sitting out, and uh, I'm taking her back to my new house, right? I have a, I have a new house. I sold my old house for $85,000, and my landlord was real upset about it. He, <laughs> he said, you were renting that house. I said, I forgot. I'll give you some of the money. I have this house. I don't even have my stuff unpacked. I don't have a clock in my bedroom. I dial the time. Have you ever done this? Here's a little tip for you, right? Because I never remember the number for time. If you wait late enough at night, you can dial any number and find out what time it is. <laughs> wait till it's real late and go, hello, how are you? It's 4.15 in the morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. 